Hi there, Mr. Rootsart here, and welcome to my video series. Uh, this time I'm going to be looking at physics. Uh, and when we start physics, uh, one of the things that we have to kind of get out of the way to begin with is how we categorize um, different things in physics. And one of these uh, is the difference between scalars and vectors. So what exactly is a scalar? And what exactly is a vector? Well, we're going to look at different um, magnitudes of different things. So for instance, um, a scalar, uh, a simple scalar that we use quite often uh, is distance, okay? And distance, uh, we just use a D, and that would be something like uh, meters or centimeters or millimeters, but anything that we use to measure distance. Now the vector quantity of that that relates to that is called displacement. Okay. And the difference between uh, a scalar and a vector is that uh, when we look at displacement, this is still a D, but now we're going to put this little arrow over top of it. Uh, some people might write that a little bit differently, but uh, that's what it is. Uh, you just put a little, if it's a vector quantity, you're going to see a, um, an arrow over top of it. Now I did mention uh, that we were looking at something, the difference between the two of these. So over here we have uh, just a magnitude. And what is a magnitude? Well, a magnitude is how much of something. Okay, so uh, how much? So if I say a distance, I might say 35 meters. Um, now, if I look at a displacement, a displacement is also a magnitude, magnitude, but it is also plus a direction. And that's the difference between a vector and a scalar. So magnitude, uh, we're dealing with scalar quantities, just how much, that's all it is by itself. And um, with a vector, we're dealing with magnitude and direction. So a couple of examples of these uh, would be, uh, again, I said distance. Okay, the next one, actually I'll write that back down again, distance. And then of course on this side we had uh, displacement that was that, that was the counterpart. Then if we go back over on this side, uh, a scalar we can have is speed. Now again, speed can be measured as a distance over a time. And this again is just the magnitude. Uh, we're not looking at the, uh, the direction yet. And here the vector component to that or the vector counterpart to that is velocity. So now I might have this is also going to be in meters per second, but we put a V in front of that, and we put a little arrow over top. So speed is just a V without an arrow, okay? Um, and then the last vector quantity uh, that we will be dealing with uh, at this point in time is acceleration. Okay, and that is an A, a little small A with an arrow over top, and this would be meters per second squared or kilometers per hour squared. So I'm gonna give you a few examples of these. Um, so again, a distance would be, an example of a distance uh, would be 35 meters, okay? And a vector uh, would be uh, 35 meters south. So we put a direction on that, or more commonly you might see this, um, we could call, we go negative 2.5 okay, meters. So the negative is the direction. And typically we go positive directions to the right, negative directions to the left. Um, so if we look at speed, uh, we can have 15.0 meters per second and a velocity would be 13.5 meters per second, and let's go north this time, okay? Uh, or we could have, again, positive 17.2 meters per second. Okay, so again, we put here, we have a magnitude right here and a direction, okay? Here, we just had the magnitude. And the last one that we would deal with would be an acceleration. So let's say we have 75.0 meters per second squared, and we'll say north. 
Okay, and uh, as far as the directions go, we'll look at that a little bit later on when we do look at vectors a little more closely. But this is the difference between scalars and vectors. And you need to have an understanding of this uh, once we get into calculations. Most often in physics, we are dealing with these. Um, but you still need to have an understanding of the difference between the two. So again, scalar, we're looking at magnitude only. And vectors, we're looking at magnitude and direction. And we will see you in class. Science.